Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Hey everybody, JP the Dog Guy here. You know, one silver lining from the last year is that pet adoptions have skyrocketed, and that includes right here in Southern Oregon. As I've mentioned before in this series, adopting a dog, although rewarding, will probably need to be approached a little bit differently than acquiring a pup from a friend or a breeder. When you adopt a dog, it could be of any age, any background, and probably will need some training. In this episode, we're gonna cover a super important training tip that just may save your dog's life. Staying when you open the door in your vehicle. Whether your dog will be taken out of a car through the back or side door, it's important to work with them so they don't bolt the moment the door is open. But first, let's talk to Craig from Butler Kia about this beautiful 2022 Carnival MPV. JP, good to see you again. Kia has done it again, the all new 2022 Carnival multi-purpose vehicle. Best in class horsepower, best in class passenger space, best in class cargo space, seats up to eight, the 360 camera, the features are amazing. Sounds awesome. And look who it is, it's Tinkerbell. And she is just in time for our training tip on how to make your dog stay in the car when you open the door. All right, so first things first, it's all about conditioning. Much like the doors at your house, if your dogs are used to running in and out in an excitable fashion, then that's what you can expect when you don't want them to do that. So the first thing I like to do, whether I'm at home or I'm somewhere public where it's more dangerous, I have to teach them what I expect when I open a door. So for example, when I open this door, first and foremost, I'm gonna be strategic so that she can't run out, but I'm gonna make her back up a little bit and wait patiently before I allow her to come out. Back up. Sit. You're so good. Wait. Easy. Come here. Easy. All right, guys, so Tinkerbell's really well trained. Her owner took the time to condition her and show her what she expects when she opens doors. What we did basically is before the door completely opened, I blocked just in case. She wanted to try to run out, so I got my body positioned there. As soon as the door opened up a little bit, I asked her to back up for me to create some space. What I'm doing, I'm basically slowing her down because when the door opens, she gets excited. I have to interrupt that and ask her to do something for me. Once she gave me space and backed up, I asked her to sit, then I allowed her to come out. And I didn't use a real exciting release word because sometimes you did all this work to keep them calm. If you use an exciting release word, then they're just gonna run out excited anyway. So what's the point, right? So make sure when you release them, sometimes I will just walk away, I won't say a word, and they'll come out kind of cautiously, like, is it okay? Or I'll use a very calm, okay, an easy word, because I want them to stay calm. I wanna thank Butler Kia for providing us with this beautiful 2022 Kia Carnival and the always fun and versatile 2021 Kia Soul. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and I hope that this tip will help you have a safer experience when you let your dog out of the car. Until next time, this is JP, and I'm out. Remember to watch JP the Dog Guy each week on KTVL News Channel 10 between 6 and 7 a.m. and always on the MailTribune.com. Brought to you by Butler Kia, where there's a different breed of caring.